My name is Claire Weaver. I am in my last semester of my junior year, and I am a physics major. I'm originally from Cincinnati, Ohio. I went to Fairfield High School and graduated in 2004. Initially went to Wake Forest University for undergrad and studied abroad in Australia and decided undergrad can wait. I want to live and travel and see the world and get the most out of this life. I joined the circus and became a flying trapeze instructor and that brought me to New York, Long Island, where I worked as a flying trapeze instructor just up the road at Eisenhower Park and had heard wonderful things about Hofstra and I decided, you know, it's time. It's time to go back. I had, uh, I started to realize that certain parts of my body were, were done with the circus career and my brain was still there as I had hoped and went back to Hofstra, applied and they accepted me, transferred to Hofstra and started my pursuit of physics. Physics is a, a really pure science. It makes sense, it's like the Legos of the universe. It's like knowing how to build something out of what the universe has been built out of. And it's really fascinating to me to break it down. And a lot of my exploration has always come from that, that passion and that curiosity um, for exploring. And uh, so what took me away from school the first time was the same thing that brought me right back to it. I had an internship at Brookhaven National Laboratory with the Department of Energy working in superconducting research, which was so exciting. But I had no foundational theoretical knowledge of superconductors. And I had expressed an interest to Dr. Levine. He is uh, currently the head of the department. And he took his own time to read up and sort of break it down for me and walk me through it. And when he was doing this, uh, another professor, Dr. Lawrence, he was walking by, he'd hopped in, he wanted to hear everything. He's an astrophysicist. And uh, it's just such a good example of the enthusiasm for learning and mentoring, mentoring that can be found at Hofstra University in our physics department. And I'm really proud to be a part of it. Hofstra's physics department has a growing uh, physics club. It is the Hofstra chapter of the Society of Physics Students. I am honored to be voted in as the president of it last year, and I'm even more excited because I'm the first female president that was voted in, and I really uh, appreciate the vote of confidence for my peers to put me in that role of leadership, and uh, it's a growing community. After graduation, I, I do plan on uh, attending grad school and hopefully earning my PhD in um, material science, condensed matter physics. I'm still exploring where I'm most passionate about. It's such a fun subject to, to discover. Uh, and it's really at the, we're really nearing the edge of knowledge. You know, all the research that's being done now are things that nobody knows much about. So it's this guessing game and it's this puzzle that everyone's working on and there's this huge collaboration of brilliant minds that are piecing together this world that we're a part of. One of the things I really appreciate about Hofstra's academic scheduling is the fundamentals are there, but there's so much freedom to pursue whatever you're passionate about. Uh, last semester, I did an independent research study with Dr. Bachner, and he oversaw a lot of my research that I was doing at Brookhaven National Laboratories that semester, and I got credit for that. And that was a, an amazing experience that I don't know if I would have gotten credit for at another institu institution. It is insanely intimidating. There are so many little voices of self-doubt in your head that question if you can do it. And uh, for those people, I definitely would say, what do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? Uh, figure out what's important to you and what you want out of life. If that includes uh, the step of going back to school to get there, then do it. Give it your best. One thing I've learned about just about anything that you do or you set your mind to do is you will get as much out of it as you put in. 